Vanilla is actually the pot of an orchid, and its flavor is as complex and as subtle as the flower itself. Its flavor is so strong when you soft the bean that one, it's more than enough. I'm making dulce de leche ice cream, or helado de dulce de leche. To make this ice cream, I need eggs. I'm using just the yolks. The whites will harden the mix so much that the ice cream will not get the texture that I want. My milk is starting to simmer away. A little sugar, not much. As the sugar dissolves, I get the eggs. This is a great way to add eggs to a hot liquid without them getting hard very fast. Now, I'm making something called a creme anglaise. That is the perfect start of any frozen treat. And now, it just simmers away as it thickens. To check if it's thick enough, a finger that forms a steady trail on the spoon is the indicator. With the cream nice and warm, I want to add the flavor, the dulce de leche, what is going to make this an Argentinian frozen treat. Store-bought or homemade, it doesn't matter. But I want to make sure I add lots and lots. An amazing treat. Now, to make this ice cream my own, I decided to use a little rum. And it's gonna give me a little tool for the ice cream not to completely freeze. I'm making sure I strain this mix very well. This way, the ice cream is gonna be much more creamier. I have it now on an ice bath. This way, it will cool down much faster. Here is where the real magic happens. Oh my God. Uh, can't wait to taste Dulce de Leche ice cream. I know, I know. Less is more. I don't think that rule applies when I'm talking about dulce de leche. More, it's always better. Now, this is the perfect end to a hot summer day or the perfect start to a new tradition.